First we're going to do is going to be one that you'll need, and need the equipment for is the chin jab. Okay. Chin jab, most people think of it as basically a really close uh, board's tooth style strike. But you could be, unless you're not super close. So let's say he gives me angle one, we crash in, and I hit, and I'm really close, I can fire it from here. Right? Uh, the problem is though, anything along this line, if he leans back, I miss. It's kind of like a horizontal elbow. If he leans back, I miss. If I come down, he leans back, he gets his sternum split in half, which is still pretty good. Right? Okay? So the way we're going to do this is he's going to stand nice and tall. Since they lights his neck, he's going to move it out of the way. He's going to look that way. So we're going to be here. The chin jab, as we're going to throw it, is going to be more of an oblique strike. So we're going to be traveling down a little bit. This is where kind of a lower fence instead of higher might come into play. If I, if I end up here and try to back this guy off, I don't want to telegraph that I'm going to strike with maybe the, the hammer fist or the, the face smash. I would have to come straight forward. So I'm going to come in. I'm still going to push off. I'm going to trap this arm. And I'm going to hit <clears throat> there. And look, that knee's coming right following you, right? So again, if I was doing this two thing, I obviously can't do this in training, but I would capture this, and I'm going bam, smashing through his head, going deep, and then walking through this guy violently. So for the sake of the drill, he's going to look this way. I'm going to capture his arm. My right leg stays back. It's like I'm throwing a fastball. Right, right hip stays back. And I am moving forward and coming straight over the shoulder, boom, coming deep. Should not feel great for this guy getting hit. He's going to feel a lot better than the face smash. <laughs> Remember, combat is what you do to somebody. Martial arts is what you do with somebody. So some of this stuff, you got to kind of uh, rough each other up a little bit. Not bad. Not bad, but a little bit. Okay? Um, if I were to, if Thane can hold Bobby for me. At the, at the Civilian Combatants Training Center, they had a bunch of bobs that were... Uh, they were, they were in the ground with big slabs of concrete, so you could just destroy them and move. It was awesome. This one moves a little more. So, I'm coming here, and I am trapping the lat, the tricep, something along there. So this hand, boom, is driving in like this. So I'm trying to take his head off. You know, someone asked Kel McCann, like, well, could this kill somebody? He's like, maybe. All I know is this, this guy's got to stop. And I'm going to do it, right? So, um, one of our sayings is, is you know we're trying to live our life as, as nicely as mainly as possible, but someone is gonna assault you, they define the terms of your relationship. It wasn't you, it was them. So you just have to accept. Either you may not accept, you know, be a victim, but if you do accept that they define those terms, then you're responding kind. And this responding kind is trapping the arm and boom, trying to rip their head off. And then we've got that knee to follow. If you don't have a cup on, then maybe don't throw the knee or throw it nice and soft. 